Ridership on Bay Area Transit is down and its future in doubt, but its past, at least, was on full display today as Muni officials in San Francisco dusted off its vintage buses and streetcars. John Ramos has got that story. There's a lot of concern about the state of public transit these days, but if you want to figure out where you're heading, sometimes it helps to look to the past. If you didn't know better, you'd think you'd traveled back to the future in San Francisco. The vintage streetcars and buses were all part of the annual Muni Heritage Weekend, highlighting the city's tradition of getting from here to there in style. Transit built San Francisco. When Andrew Halliday invented the cable car 150 years ago this year, then whole neighborhoods opened up. Old films from the early 1900s focused on people riding the rails. Then up into the 1940s, public transit thrived as the trolley cars weren't filled with tourists, but workers hurrying to the office, briefcases in hand. Rick Laubscher, president of the History Preservation Group, Market Street Railway, says transit brought everyone together. That's why San Francisco thrived as a big, booming office and retail center, because you could get downtown quickly from great distances. And Muni Heritage Weekend reminds people of the role transit played in building the San Francisco we know today. But in the 50s and 60s, people fell in love with the automobile, and transit took a back seat to individualized travel. There are still dedicated transit riders, like Steve Vaccaro and Alan Avery, but not nearly as many as back in the glory days. Because of COVID, it's changed everything. Uh, ridership is down, it's slow to come back. It's hard to say, but I think people maybe back then were more willing to t do their share. To me, it seems like as citizens of a very, very dense community, dense city, we shouldn't be getting in cars. Ron Mitchell has seen it all as a Muni driver for 34 years. On this day, he was in a bus from 1999, but he's operated trolleys a lot older than that and says it wasn't easy keeping the older vehicles rolling smoothly along the overhead power cables. You see up here? You see you, Now you look under there, you see where those fibers are, those are called fibers. That's a breaker. You had to make your breakers. If you got caught on the breaker, the bus would stop moving. He said back then you had to be a real operator, not just a driver, and he's proud of that. This unit under MTA is called the Municipal Railway, and that makes you feel proud that something lasted and hopefully will still go into the future. So what about the future? Will a giant fleet of robo-taxis take the place of buses and streetcars? Laubscher reminds us that 150 years ago, the cable car was a leap in technology that transformed everything. San Francisco has always innovated technologically, and I think we're doing it again. We'll have to wait and see, you know, how many people opt for mass transit in the future where you're sharing, you know, a train car or a bus with a lot of other people, and how many people opt for uh, individual rides in pilotless cars. I mean, that's, that's going to be the big question, and I guess we'll find out. San Francisco has always relied on technology of some sort to keep moving forward, despite getting caught in a few breakers along the way. Muni Vintage Weekend is an annual event at the Railway Museum near Embarcadero Plaza.